The title of my poem is We Are Sisters. We are sisters, never break apart. You're not just my friend, but you're my sister in my heart. I feel that this allows the kids to talk about things maybe that they wouldn't normally talk about, they can write about it. Realise that not only can that be okay, but it can actually be celebrated. And they are connected and other people do care and they are, you know, they are being heard. We stand up for each other. Here's the thing with poetry. You have to express yourself with words. And although you do that already, it's in a much deeper level. Like you have to go and you have to really think about what you're saying. You have to find that love inside you. America's Course Cleveland started in 2004. And it started out in four schools serving about 120 kids and then grew into what we are today, which is 16 schools serving about 2,000 kids each year. So Inspired Art is a collaboration between our poet athletes and local artists here in Cleveland. We are sisters. We laugh and cry together. No matter how we look, we're always by each other. Like a knot, we are always tethered. We are sisters. We stand up for each other. Our love is like a chain. It always sticks together. We are sisters, forever and ever. I chose the poem, We Are Sisters, and I chose that one because I felt a connection with it. I think it's really well written, and it is uh, sincere. So I wanted to do something that kind of conveyed that sisterhood could be among um, any group of women. Since I go to an all-girls school, we are always told that, like, you may not be sisters by blood and you may not be related, but you're still sisters. You go to the same school, you're in the same class, you're friends. It really called to me because I kind of grew up in that air, in the inner city area of Cleveland, and I always wanted to be a part of something that helped inner city kids with um, art. Well, I don't have any sisters, but I do have close friends, and one of my close friends is kind of like my sister, so I feel that connection, that bond. I'm a professor at Ursuline College in the Graduate Art Therapy and Counseling Program and we take our graduate students on service learning trips and um, I happened to snap a picture of a group of them and it just really spoke to me, this picture, and I thought, well, that's, that's sisterhood right there. If I had never joined soccer, I think I would be writing poetry only for assignments, but now I think about poetry all day, <laughs> every day, seriously, because just thinking about it helps me express myself more through creativity and I feel like my purpose is to inspire people and to help them be more creative themselves. Everything we do, soccer, creative writing, service learning, is all about them learning about who they are, who their community is, being a team, being part of their school, and wanting to do better in the community while also giving them these tools and skills to advocate for themselves. It's that team spirit, it's that camaraderie, it's learning that accountability to showing up for practice because somebody else is reliant on you. And they do make that transference to other things in their life where they realize, if I don't practice, if I don't know what I'm not good at, I'm not gonna get better at something. 